Notre Dame Cathedral. Notre Dame is a medieval Catholic cathedral. The cathedral dedicated to the Virgin Mary is considered one of the finest examples of French Gothic. Several of its attributes set it apart from the earlier Romanesque style, particularly its pioneering use of the rib wall. Notre Dame stands out for its musical components, notably its three pipe organs and its immense church bells. The Keranicler Jean de Saint Victor recorded in the Memorial Historia Room that the construction of Notre Dame began in 1163 with the laying of the cornerstone in the presence of King Louis VII and Pope Alexander III. Four phases of construction took place under bishops Maurice de Sully and Oudes de Sully. The first phase began with the construction of the choir and its two ambulatories. The choir was completed in 1177 and the high altar consecrated in 1182. The second phase from 1182 to 1190 concerned the construction of the four sections of the nave behind the choir and its aisles to the height of the clerestories. It began after the compilation of the choir but ended before the final allotted section of the nave was finished. The bases of the facade were put in place and the first traverses were completed. An important innovation in the 13th century was the introduction of the flying buttress. Before the buttresses all of the weight of the roof passed outward and down to the walls and the abutments supporting them with the flying buttress. The weight was carried by the ribs of the wall entirely outside the structure to a series of counter supports which were topped with stone pinnacles which gave them greater weight. The buttresses meant that the walls could be higher and thinner and could have much larger windows. The date of the first buttresses is not known with any great precision beyond an installation date in the 13th century. King Louis XIV, on the instance of his father Louis XIII, decided in 1699 to make extensive modifications to Notre Dame. He tasked Robert de Cote with the renovation. Cote replaced the root screen with a sumptuous and gilded wrought iron fence. In the decades after the Napoleonic Wars, Notre Dame fell into such a state of disrepair that Paris officials considered its demolition. Victor Hugo, who admired the cathedral, wrote the novel Notre Dame de Paris. In 1831, to save Notre Dame, the book was an enormous success, raising awareness of the cathedral's decaying state. The two towers are 69 meters high and were the tallest structures in Paris until the compilation of the Eiffel Tower in 1889. The towers were the last major element of the cathedral to be constructed. The south tower was built first between 1220 and 1240 and the north tower between 1235 and 1250. The newer north tower is slightly larger as can be seen when they are viewed from directly in front of the church. The cantry fort or buttress of the north tower is larger. The south tower was accessible to visitors by a stairway whose entrance was on the south side of the tower. The stairway has 387 steps and has a stop at the Gothic Hall at the level of the rose window, where visitors could look over the Paris. The 14 bells of the cathedral are located in the north and south towers. The lead roofed water reservoir between the two towers provides water for firefighting.
the spire of Notre Dame de Paris was located above the cross section of the cathedral's transept. Notre Dame de Paris has had two timber spires. The first was built between 1220 and 1230. It eventually became so damaged that it was removed in the late 18th century. The second was put into place by the French architect in 1859 and destroyed in a major fire in 2019. Plan of the cathedral made in the 19th century. Portals and nave to the left, a choir in the center, and apse and ambulatory to the right. The nave has rib walls. The ribs transfer the thrust the weight of the roof downward and outwards to the pillars and the supporting buttresses. The massive buttresses which contour the outward thrust from the rib walls of the nave. The weight of the building shaped pinnacles helps keep the line of thrust safely within the buttresses. The stained glass windows of Notre Dame, particularly the three rose windows, are among the most famous features of the cathedral. The tympanum over the central portal and the west facade facing the square vividly illustrates the Last Judgment, with figures of sinners being led off to hell, and good Christian taken to heaven. The sculpture of the right portal shows the coronation of the Virgin Mary, and the left portal shows the leaves of saints, the exteriors of the cathedrals and the other Gothic churches were also decorated with sculptures of a variety of fabulous and frightening grotesques. These included the gargoyle. The gargoyles which were added in about 2040 had a more practical purpose. They were the rain spouts of the cathedral, designed to divide the torrent of water which poured from the roof after rain and to project it outwards as far as possible from the buttresses and the walls and windows so they were also designed to be a decorative element of the architecture. Notre Dame currently has 10 bells. The two largest bells are mounted in the south tower. The eight others are mounted in the north tower. In addition to accompanying regular activities at the cathedral, the bells have also rung to commemorate events of national and international significance, such as the liberation of Paris, the fall of the Berlin Wall, and the September 11th attacks.